Kemi Badenoch, the business secretary today, used the findings of an independent report on diversity and inclusion practice in the workplace to state that they had backfired or were counterproductive. Fortunately, she has the power to change this. The Legatum Institute, which is part of one of the owners of GB News, one of our investors, has just issued an excellent report that points out that the public sector equality duty can be removed for any individual public body by statutory instrument. That is to say, ministerial fiat with a single parliamentary vote. Kemi, the scourge of wokery, has it under her personal control to defang the Equality Act. So let's hope she uses it and the next parliament repeals the whole foolish act. Well, my panel's still with me. And Tessa, you've actually used the Equality Act. I have. Um, actually, no, because in its current form in 2010, um, when you got the amalgamation of race, disability and sex into the same act. But yes, I have used Discriminatory Act um, to fight a case against the BBC. I had a protected characteristic. I was pregnant. I was on a rolling contract and um, they sacked me two weeks after I gave birth. So I sued them and I was able to afford to do that because of my home insurance I was covered for discrimination cases interestingly but I was infuriated because for many years they'd openly told me as a presenter we're not going to use you because you're neither a failed soap star and nor are you um, a, a minority ethnic for example and I understood that there has to be slippage I live in a hugely diverse city near over 40 percent diverse I'm bright white from Scotland not representing London in any way I was on a London station so I understood that but God, I was angry when finally I had my protected characteristic and I was sacked anyway. <laughs> so, um, Calvin, the, the, everyone's in favour of protecting people from outright discrimination. It's just the Equality Act, the public sector equality duty, leads to all these lunatic um, equality officers and courses and so on that just waste taxpayers' right. in, money. In her, in her, in, in, uh, with Badnock uh, quoting the report, basically pointed out that there had been no examples that they could find where there had been any breakthrough because of these kinds of these kinds of acts. And what we seem to have now, I, I, I don't know, if you go to any hospital, I, uh, I suspect that the diversity aspect um, means that if you're if you're white, um, that is probably going to be your greatest strength now to try and get a job anywhere. I mean, it is a very odd thing that um, what's happened with the diversity is it's gone the other way, that it is the white minorities, for instance, in a place like London, I suppose, if you go to a hospital in London, where, where what percentage would you likely to find of white medical staff, do you think, Tessa? Right, but... That's because we have to recruit many of our medical staff from overseas because we don't train sufficient numbers, irrespective of their ethnicity or gender or, do you or believe sexual that orientation. The reverse is true. But if or we is could, the reverse but, true? But hang on a minute. In what, fact, that, but, that, that actually, what's happened with diversity is that actually no, everybody no, hires from their own, right? No, no, is, is that, I think is that it's possible? a really bad example is to take a, a, a medical hospital where predominantly we're recruiting from outside our country, stealing from others. I would you're like not to stealing talk, anything I would like from to, others. Actually, we're giving opportunities to people right. who haven't got opportunities right. in their own land. So okay. let's get that okay. right. OK, could we just focus the FTSE 100 companies? OK, guess what percentage of female chairs there are in FTSE 100 companies 2022? Not many. Well, uh, 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 6.7%. Guess what percentage of CEOs uh, way, are women by the way, of FTSE 100 companies? Ask, guess. guess can guess, I just ask five percent. what percentage actually applied and didn't right. and didn't meet the criteria to do a massively important job. Why could it be that somebody is simply not good enough? It's not because of their sex or their race. They just turn out to be not good enough. What's so interesting is that where the woman was a CEO, there were more collaborative decision-making processes and results tended to be right. better. Now let's just talk about diversity on screen. GB News, of course, a bastion, I think you'll agree, of inclusivity. Um, well, they employ you, don't they? But, but, they do, but they perhaps but, they don't. But Tessa, I don't care. But you, we well, have, no, you don't, because you're a white man. No, you're sitting we, in the main seat. If we have people oh, on who are interesting, mm. I don't care what mm. their um, characteristic is. I care mm. that we have a program that people want to watch, and I think that means that we will have people from a huge range of backgrounds because that's what people are interested in seeing. But it's not tokenistic, and that you're on here because you're interesting and you're feisty and you disagree with us, not because we need a lady on. I, and that seems to be really important. I prefer woman to lady, by the way. Just a bit lady. I've never been big on that. Just, just a, Ladies polite. Just a little annotation Ladies there. Ladies polite. Maybe in your circles. I want to go to on-screen representation because it's interesting. 
on screen, um, not including GB News, but approximately there's about 20% representation of different ethnicities, i.e. non-Caucasian, which is larger than the number of um, minority ethnic um, population in Britain, although they might not have the leading roles, interestingly. But behind the screens, we do much, much less well. So it is what I call, but, you know, but, uh, out there parading for the public. But hold on, but that's actually, good. Well, that's no, good because not that good. is the public. It's not it's good. The public that no. actually see. But those trends are I mean, the well because they're good yeah. and they're capable, okay. not because they're tokenistic. Right. And that's but, so important. But so you're saying they're only good at being, um, b people from different ethnicities are only no. good at being action no, no. presenters, they're no. not good at Handy. being chair people, they're, they're CEOs, Handy managers. No. When they're stars, when they're stars, you know, if you're a massive rap star or something like that, it, the, the percentage there would be the other way around. Fantastic. People love on stage okay. massive talent. Okay, so right, black right, people so, can only be so, rap, right, rap stars. What you're talking about it. is because you haven't got a show, you believe that there is some kind of discrimination. Yes, busy. you do want to show. You spend half your life when we're in the green room no, and saying that you're about... not being allowed a show. No, it's, Come it's, on, it's, Tessa, it's, tell it's, the truth. No, that's absolute rubbish. It's because Kelvin <laughs> always true. says, I can't believe you have you don't have your own show. And I say they wouldn't have me having my own show because I don't represent the right-leaning agenda of this station. No, no. I understand that. We're not talking about my career right now. We're talking well, about no, general... You were talking about no, it just now. Actually, well, yeah, that was briefly because it fell into the line of fire yeah. regarding the Equality Act. Fair but enough. I just want to focus on the idea in journalism, it's particularly bad for it, press journalism, old school Fleet Street stuff, something like 2% of journalists are from minority ethnic backgrounds, which explains some of the useless, clumsy language when Meghan first arrived on the scene. Do you remember she had exotic DNA and this nonsense that would have never been written if well, you'd had properly diverse second. offices? Hold on a second. Meghan, as far as I know, was at the beginning the most loved yeah. of <laughs> new, the new entrants to the royal her. family I've ever seen. If you look at Prince Edward's missus, all she got was a bucket load for being a clapped out DJ on, on, on Capital Radio. And today, <laughs> and today she's a star. And Megan, right, has now disappeared off the planet. Well, thank you. Thank you to my panel, who uh, may continue this argument in the green room. Um